A sudden and violent attack caught on camera on this local street. The disturbing surveillance video now shedding new light on the attack by a homeless woman on a teen girl. And it also shows how an eyewitness who came to help came under attack himself. That brave man now speaking out about the frightening moments. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Fisher joining us live with his story. Michelle. Mark, that good Samaritan tells us he and his friend were actually on their way out of town with their daughters for a camping trip when, like you mentioned, all of a sudden their day took a very unexpected and violent turn. An unprovoked attack caught on camera. Watch as a young girl is repeatedly punched by a transient in the middle of a Willowbrook sidewalk. I seen the homeless person that had just passed me strike a little girl in the face. I ran over to help. It all happened around 8 last Friday morning as off-duty security guard John Arias is parking nearby. He quickly rushes in to help. The young girl is eventually able to get up and walk away. What happens next? Blocked by the fence. The homeless person got up and uh, started to retrieve uh, something. And before I could find out what it was, uh, I went for the takedown, uh, slashed me in the face. I got slashed right across. Um, I got about six stitches and the rest of it was glued. There's blood on the cement, there's blood on the suspect, blood on him, blood on the grass. It's a terrible looking scene. John's good friend Victor, who was nearby, was shocked at what he saw after initially hearing cries for help. All of a sudden, clearly I hear, Victor, call the police. Victor and EMT helps to subdue the attacker. I get my first aid kits. I'm like, John, switch places with me, so immediately held her down in the same position, waiting for emergency responders. The woman seen here in the attack arrested and now facing charges of assault with a deadly weapon. Fortunately enough, you know, uh, I was there because I do this for a living and uh, I would do this any day. And John actually shared with us that he already has his associate's degree in the science of criminal justice and hopes to one day eventually work to become an officer with the LAPD. We're reporting live tonight. I'm Michelle Fisher, ABC7 Eyewitness News.